and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reviewing the Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics Holiday Palette. And I think that this palette obviously is beautiful on the outside, but if you wanna know my full review on it, my thoughts, my feelings, my opinion, please watch this whole entire video to the very end because that's when I review it and give you my final thoughts. If you like this look that I did, I love it personally. I think it's really like light and pretty and kind of smoky in a way. If you like it, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, share with any friends that love Kylie Jenner, Kylie Cosmetics, or wanna know about the holiday palette because I'm doing a demo review and just kind of chatting about it basically in this video. And if you guys wanna know how to get this look that you see right here, then please keep on watching. So for primer today, I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer and I really like this because it's very hydrating on the skin and it doesn't make my skin oily. So for foundation, I'm using the YSL Touche Clot. Touche Clot, I have no idea. This is like in French, but that's my best shot, Touche Clot foundation. This is a Radiance Awakening foundation, and I'm going to apply this today using my fingertips. I'm just going to dot this into my skin first, and I'm just working the foundation into my skin using my fingertips. You could use a brush, but I feel like this works really well with this foundation because the warmth of your hands kind of warms up the product. So now I'm going to conceal and cover up any pimples that I have, and this one has been trying to take over my life, so I'm gonna cover that one up. And I'm using the NYX Color Correcting Concealer, and I'm gonna use the green shade first. And you just wanna dab it onto the pimple. This is super pigmented, so you really don't need a lot. I kind of picked up a little bit too much. And now I'm gonna go over top with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Also gonna put that under my eyes because we're gonna be concealing with that today too. And then you can just blend out using a brush or a beauty blender. So now I'm gonna start warming up my skin and I'm using a cream contour kit today. This is by Anastasia, but I'm first going to kind of hydrate these creams with an oil. And I'm using this oil here and this is the Marula Pure Marula Facial Oil. And it looks just like this. You get this on Sephora and all I'm gonna do is take a drop of it and pop it right into these two colors here. So you just need a drop. And I'm just gonna mix these two shades together to get like a custom color bronzer that I wanna use today. And I'm just going to apply this on the areas I really want to bronze. And now you just want to go in with the Beauty Blender and blend this all out. So now I'm going to take a little bit more of that oil and I'm going to drop it into this banana shade. And with the banana shade, I'm just going to clean up a little bit of the cream contour and add a little bit to the forehead to brighten everything up. For highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Watts Up, and this is a cream to powder highlight. I'm gonna take this onto the Beauty Blender and just kind of dab it on the tip of it, and then just go in and apply it. I'm also gonna bring this onto the tip of the nose. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with this Tarte Cream Cheek and Lip Palette. I'm gonna take these two shades right here and pop them right onto the cheeks. And you could use this with a brush or a Beauty Blender. I think both work just as good, but these are so pretty. They go on so creamy and smooth. Now that we've got all of these cream products on, you're going to want to set your skin if you do tend to get oily. If you have oily skin or combo skin, you're definitely going to want to set. So I'm going to first take this really light shade here in my Tarte Contour Palette, and this is just a setting powder. You could use a translucent or you could use something from a contour kit. I'm just going to set underneath my eyes so nothing creases. And now I'm just going to lightly tap over the highlight using this Tarte Highlighting palette, this is from the Rainforest of the Sea line. And I'm just gonna go over everything with this. And what I've noticed from wearing these creams so far is you don't wanna rub into it, you just wanna lightly tap it on. Because if you rub into it, it really disturbs the cream and it starts getting all cracky and cakey and you just wanna lightly tap. So now I'm gonna fill in my brows using the Anastasia Brow Powder in Ebony. And I'm just gonna fill them in in areas that are really, really sparse. And I also really need to define the shape of my eyebrow because one of my eyebrows is a little bit more arched than the other, so I usually even them out. All right, and now I'm gonna set them with a tinted brow gel by Anastasia, and this is in chocolate. I'm just gonna bring this through the brows and this will keep them in place. All right, so now that we have our face done and our brows done, let's get into the Kai shadow. 
Alright, so to start out this look, I'm priming the lids using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and jumping right into shadow, I'm gonna pick up the color Chestnut, and this is a beautiful, mauve pink transition color. I just think this is perfect for the crease area because it adds a little bit of color, but it also blends amazing. What I thought was really unique about the shadow is you could actually keep layering it, and as you layer it, it deepens. This almost looks like I'm applying two different colors of shadow, but I'm actually just layering it as I go, and it deepens beautifully, which I really love because it adds a lot of definition without you having to use multiple shadows. You could actually just use one and get great payoff and great definition. So next I'm taking the shape tape, applying it to my lid, and really just kind of carving it out because my eyes can kind of get lost sometimes in my shadow, and I really like to define my lid. I'm next going in with Frosty, and when I apply this, it literally looks like liquid. It looks wet, it looks like cream, but it's not. It's a powder, and I just think it's beautiful, and I'm just kind of gasping at how gorgeous this looks. It just goes on so pigmented. I bought this palette with my own money. Kylie did not send me this palette. I am not being paid for this video. Kylie does not send me any PR and I'm so glad that I bought this with my own money because it's beautiful and I would totally buy this any day of the week because look at that color payoff. So next I'm going to go in with Silent Night. This is a dark purple plummy color. It's beautiful for the outer V so I'm just concentrating it in that area to create some depth and I did kind of go over this about twice just to create a good contrast against the other colors. I next went in with Nutcracker, which is a beautiful shimmery purple shade, and I applied that into the lower lash line and just kind of brought this up, and it really gave some definition. I'm next going to go in with Frosty again, just with a lighter hand, and just layer this in the inner corner as well as the brow bone. I really wanted to keep the eyes open and awake, so I did apply a nude liner instead of a black. I applied some mascara, and today I'm using half lashes just to keep the eyes open and really large and big, and I really wanted to show off the shadows, so I went with half lashes today. I applied a little bit of liner, and that was pretty much it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I can't wait to create some more looks with this palette, and please stay tuned for my review at the end of the video. All right, so for lips, I'm gonna use the Coco K Lip Liner, and this is like a light pink color. I'm just gonna line my lips with this. And now I'm gonna go over the top with the Coco K Gloss. And if you own one of these glosses, then you know that these actually smell like cake. I don't know how or why, but all of the Kylie lip products, they have this smell to them that is absolutely amazing. To me, this smells really sweet, like cake or vanilla. I don't really know, but it's the most amazing smell. This is probably my favorite scent that I have ever smelled from like a lipstick or a lip gloss. It's just really, really good. All right, so I'm gonna go do this hair and I'll be right back and we can review the palette. All right, so let's review this palette. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Holiday Palette. And as you can see, it has its holiday packaging. It's very, very pretty. I think packaging really catches my eye. Every time of year during the holidays when makeup brands that I love come out with palettes that have really kind of festive packaging, it does draw me in and it does make me want to purchase that product, whatever it may be. I'm not really sure why, things that look pretty obviously are gonna make you like them more. And that's how I feel about this palette. Obviously, it's very pretty to look at, and it's just overall really cute. You're getting a mirror when you pay for this palette. You're getting nine shadows. And these shadows obviously are amazing, and I will touch on that a little later. But overall, this whole palette goes for $42. Currently online right now, $42 with a free brush set. I think that this palette, being $42 is a little expensive. I mean, I definitely think that you're paying for nine shadows, a mirror that's pretty large, and obviously the holiday packaging. I think that 42, yeah, it is a little pricey, but if you love Kylie Cosmetics and you love Kylie Jenner, if you like her makeup, I think that this is a really nice palette. I definitely think that these shades in here really impressed me and I'll tell you why. If you look at this palette, the shades in this palette are all jewel tones and there's really not a lot of warm tones in here at all. Um, most of them are cool, and I feel like there's a good variety of shimmer and also matte. None of these shades look like each other. They go together, but they don't really look a lot like each other. They're different, and you could use them in so many different ways. I think that a lot of palettes these days are starting to look a lot like each other, and I don't own any palettes currently that have these shades in them or that look anything like this palette. I don't have a lot of palettes that are jewel toned, and I do think what makes this palette really unique is the fact that these shades are all muted. So if you're someone that likes color, 
but you don't like bright over the top color, but you want to wear color, this palette is seriously a great option because all of these colors are muted. You have a muted gold brown, you have a muted emerald, you have a muted purple, you have a muted blue, and then you have a really muted white that's almost like a silver. And that's what I use today on my eyes. I think that these shades are muted, they're wearable, and I feel like they cater to a lot of different eye colors as well. You could really bring out any eye color with these shades. I think they're really complementary to pretty much anyone. I personally love the shades in this palette because like I've said before, darker shades really help me bring out my features and I look for dark shades when I'm buying a palette. She has the burgundy palette, the bronze palette, and this palette currently. I think this one to me is the most unique and if I were to purchase a palette for from her being a first-time buyer I would go for this holiday palette just because it's so different and if you look at the bronze palette you probably own something similar I know that a lot of you guys probably love warm tones the bronze palette is kind of like a go-to palette this palette is something different it's something fun it's something unique and I feel like a lot of the times brands are afraid to kind of reach out and do something different and I haven't seen any colors like this really in any palettes that I have purchased recently or that I've seen on the market. I think a lot of the times people are very opinionated about Kylie Cosmetics because she's a celebrity and people have their opinions about her, whether they're good or bad. People are gonna look at her and think, this has to be perfect, this has to be amazing, this has to be a certain way because she's Kylie Jenner. I think that this is a great palette. I don't care if it's from her, if it's from Tarte, it's from Too Faced, if it's from Makeup Forever. If one of these companies came out with this palette, I would like it. It doesn't have to be Kylie's, it could be any brands. I would like it because I was super impressed with how these shadows applied. I didn't get any fallout on my face and I did a cream look today. I have cream blush, cream highlight, cream bronzer. My foundation is very dewy and normally like when you get fallout, that's gonna stick onto you know, your creamy look. It didn't stick onto my face at all, didn't have any fallout, and these shades, they're kind of like a cream to powder. When you apply them, they are so creamy. And I own a lot of shadows. I have a lot of Makeup Geek. I have a lot of just all different kinds of things. But I would say that this palette is so creamy. It's creamier than really anyone that I've tried in a long time. And I can definitely tell there's a significant difference between this palette and the other palettes that Kylie has, and I will be reviewing those as well. And I like that there's a variety of different shades. You do have a highlight shade. You do have transition shades in this palette. You do have pops of color that you could place on the lid or on the lower lash line. There's just a lot of options and just a lot of variety. And I think it's very fall. It's very winter. It's very holiday. And I think that that's what makes it fun and what makes it unique. Of course, there's gonna be mixed reviews online about this palette saying that it sucks or saying that it's great. My opinion is I really, really love it. And I would purchase this. I know it's expensive, but if you purchase it right now, you do get a free brush kit. And if you're purchasing this for a family member or for yourself, I mean, at least you get that with it. I feel like when you're paying for this palette, you're paying for the amazing pigmentation. You don't have to wet them. I didn't wet any of these shadows at all. And I normally do have to wet all of my shadows. That was something that really impressed me and really was very great in my opinion about this palette is I don't have to wet it. I don't have to ruin a shadow with wetting it. That's just something that I enjoyed. So when I was applying the shade Chestnut, I went over and I dipped a little bit more into that color and I applied it and it deepened. It's like you don't even have to go in with another shade. You can just keep deepening these shades on top of each other. And I can't say that a lot of shadows I've tried, you're able to do that with. They get really patchy or they get kind of muddy and they just don't look right. But these blended so amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like it, subscribe, share it with your friends, let them know about my channel. Please share as much as possible. I'm trying to grow our little family and if you could share this with all of your friends, that would be great. And if they love Kylie Jenner, if they love Kylie Cosmetics, make sure to tell them that I have this video out right now. And that's all I have to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one.